happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday from the office. I am just uploading this week's weekly vlog. We are on 24%. It's called Baby Birds, Ball Pit and Baking. I can't believe we've been weekly vlogging for 22 weeks. Also, while I'm here, I've got a new blog post up which is called New In Beauty. I'll leave the link below. It's got everything from Sleek to Too Faced to Impulse, Avon, everything. So go take a read. I really enjoyed writing it. And also check this shit out. Look who's nominated in the Beauty Blogger Awards for the second year running, but this time for Best Design Blog. I'm so excited. Please go vote for me. I'll leave the link down below and it would be amazing if you could vote for me. Hi everyone, it's Tuesday afternoon now. I just got back from work and I've just been playing with the pug. Oh, and I'm tired. I just put some washing on and put some up to dry. Well, exciting. Tomorrow I'm off to Ragdale again, back to the spa day. I'm sure there's been like two or three spa days now on my vlog. Um, but yes, I'm going for a spa day with my mum and some of my friends. I'm having a 50 minute massage and I'll vlog everything like I did last time. I'm super excited for a spa day. I definitely need a bit of relaxation. I'm feeling in a bit of a rut with work and where I, what I, what I want to be doing, as I always say, and it gets me down quite a lot. So there's nothing better than a spa day. And pack my Ugg slippers. And I'm also going to pack this makeup bag with just skincare products in. My L'Oreal Micellar Water, which is my personal favourite over the Garnier one. Uh, the Garnier Light Oil Control Moisturiser Fairness Cream. Uh, my Clarins One Step Cleanser. Spa Find Moisturiser and Shaw Deodorant. I actually prefer Mitchum to this, but I can't find it. If anyone wanted to know the ingredients to a long-term relationship, it's chocolate, beer, and wine. Friday. Um, I'm just cooking some dinner 
Tom is away tonight, so it's just me and Arla on our own. I think Chloe's gonna pop round and keep me company, because as you found out last week, I'm not very good on my own. Um, I've just poured myself a glass of wine with ice cubes because it wasn't in the fridge, which, if you work in a shop, as a wine drinker, I love it to be freezing cold. So when they don't have it in the fridges, I'm like, Arr! Yeah, um, so I thought I'd show you what I'm cooking. I'm cooking my favorite, which my pasta is about to go over. I'm cooking white wine and garlic mushroom linguine uh, with rosemary. This dish is absolutely incredible. I absolutely love it. So basically it's really easy. You just cut some mushrooms up, put them in a pan with some oil, and then um, put some garlic puree or some lazy garlic on those, and some rosemary. Then add uh, half a cup of stock, vegetable stock, and then wine, and then cream. And then get some linguine on the go, and it's amazing. I just reduced this down, it normally takes about 15 minutes. It's what I cooked for my girly night the other night, and this is the wine I don't normally use, but I'm using tonight, because it's all I have. But it's really, really good, this wine. It's really nice. I got it for, it's for about £6.50 from my local garage, actually, but you can get it in supermarkets. But I highly recommend trying this if you like Sauvignon. So we haven't really caught up since I went to the spa. It was amazing. I had a back massage and a facial, and it was really nice to chill with some people that I've not seen in a long time, and spend some time with my mum not at work. It was really good. I'm doing a customer service MVQ diploma, and I took my first test today, and I passed. I got 82%, so I was really happy about that. Um, and then tomorrow, Chloe and I are going to Dogfest. Uh, this isn't sponsored, but I'm covering Dogfest. They've just given me free tickets um, for me and Chloe to go and cover it for my blog and YouTube. Um, there is one in Windsor, not next weekend, but the, yeah, next weekend actually. Uh, so the weekend coming when you're watching this, there's one in Windsor. If you wanted to go, you can still get tickets. Uh, Supervet is hosting it. And yeah, I'm super, super, super excited. Um, so yeah, we'll take you along with that tomorrow. There'll be a lot of footage tomorrow, I think. So I'm going to try and keep tonight quite short you saw a few weeks back that i planted this and then you saw that flower which has now died um sprouting but look at this <laughs> look at that i think these little buds are going to open and flower to be honest but it's huge look how tall that is it's incredible look i'm absolutely obsessed with it giant massive freaking hole in your ankle and by the way I paid it because the bone graft has resolved there's a discovery I didn't know till just now did a tough mother ladies and gentlemen and raised 1045 happy Sunday. Um, Chloe and I went to Dogfest yesterday and it was incredible. You've already seen what we got up to. Um, it was really, really good. And we met Super Vet and he signed some stuff for us. And yeah, it was just the best day ever. I got Arla lots of toys. And Arla also won a competition. Uh, she won the doggy, the puppy class, and then the puppy class overall. Uh, so she beat all the puppies and then we went into the main arena ring for best in show and she didn't place in that one but um, a little miniature schnauzer won and then a labradoodle came second so yeah i'm going to show you what we bought arla i bought arla so all of this stuff here it's 
everything I bought. So first of all, I got her this harness, which says friendly on it. Um, basically, you can get these for dogs. Um, they do ones for like deaf dog, assistance dog, um, caution, um, not friendly or stubborn or uh, shy, anxious, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but I got all of the friendly ones. People always come up to me with their dogs and they're like, oh, is she friendly? Can I meet her? So I got her this and it's really cute and it looks really sweet on her. Then I got her this harness here, which I've wanted to get her a leather harness for ages. So I got this one here, which is this nice like lime green leather colour uh, with diamantes on. Um, and it looks really cute. We've taken her out with this today. And it's really, really good actually. And the lady was clearing these for £2, so I couldn't resist. Then we just got loads of freebie stuff. What's in here? Some food to try. Naturo, which is duck, rice and vegetable. We got a huge good press goodie bag, which is I haven't actually looked in yet. Um, so in here we've got Margin Mabel's homemade dog, dog treats, Chesterfield Derbyshire. How cute is that little bag? And then in here... We've got um, uh, Margin Mabel's menu, some little poo bags, and a bag of Margin Mabel's chicken treats, which look like tiny little muffins. How cute is that? Some Barking Heads Bailey Bites Skinnies for lighter bites. They're really good. They're low calorie, no, <laughs> low fat. Uh, so Arla will love those, no doubt. And this bag from Bow Wow. Uh, your social pet work, which you definitely need to look into, it's so cool. First place in Cool Pup, we've got £10 voucher. Thank you for that. Two bag dispenser, I think I could probably like set up a shop for these now. I have so many. A doga, <laughs> yoga for you and your dog. Wow, that's interesting. Let's have a little flick through that. Oh my god, this is hilarious. <gasps> Look at that. Brilliant. Then we've got another poo bag dispenser from Go Compare. And another one. Um, some vouchers. 20% off. Ooh. I bought Arla something from this shop and it's incredible. Um, and you can get 20% off your first order with Summer Dog Snug 16 if you want to have a look. I'll show you what I bought her from here earlier. But go have a look at Dog Snug. Oh my god, it's amazing. Then we've got some greenies. These were a freebie. Um, these are teeny. These are for smaller dogs. Two sticks of rock from Wales. Oh, and then I bought Arla this, which is incredible. This is the Aquamat. And it's a towel. Um, in a tube, but wait a second, it's the most strangest thing, it feels like latex, uh, but basically you use it and for dogs, like mine and Chloe's anyway, uh, they get really hot and they can overheat, so you basically wet this and then it's like a, turns into a cooling mat for dogs, and um, and yeah, I'm super excited to use that when Ella gets a bit hot. Okay, so I just opened that lead and collar. Uh, these actually flash, but I won't put them on flashing in case any of you um, are epileptic or anything. Um, but how cool is that? They're like luminous <laughs> and then they glow neon. So good for walking in the dark. So that's the lead and that's the collar. I'm going to try and make that fit Arla or wait until it does fit because that is so cool. Island. we just watched Top Gear um, and I th actually think it was a little bit better this week um, but I'm watching Love Island and Zara finds out she's losing her crown and two new girls come in so it's gonna be loads of fun I absolutely love Love Island if you've not watched Love Island what the fuck are you doing you need to go and watch it um, 
I've also just rekindled my love for Pringles, which I haven't had in probably like five or six years, which sounds mental, but I actually don't think I have. So yeah, we're just chilling, uh, watching Love Island, and I am going to end the weekly vlog here. Um, I had a new blog post go up today, so I'll leave that link down below. It's about my new skincare and hair favourites um, from some brands that you probably won't know about. So I'll leave the link below, go check it out. Um, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Next Wednesday? And I'll see you next Monday. And don't forget, Dogfest is on this weekend in Windsor. If you want to go, I'll leave the link to Dogfest down below and you can buy some tickets and go and come and see me there. And about it so have a great week i hope you had a brilliant week and i will see you next monday bye